what will be the output of the following program. In the main function, two structures are defined. The first one is structure student in which the members are name and id. In the second structure, that is staff, there are two members, structure student s1 and character asterisk p. Now the staff structure is instantiated as s2 and are given values that is abc, def, 123. Next, the structure student is instantiated as s3 and is given the value ghi, 456. Next, we are printing the values of s3.name and s3.id. In the next statement, we are printing the values of s2.p, s2.s1.name, s2.s1.id. Now we have to find the output for this program. Let us check what it will be. This is the program. If we compile it, we have got zero errors. And when we run the program, the result is GHI456 ABC DEF123. Now let us check how we got this output. In the first printf statement, the values of s3.name and s3.id is given. The structure student is instantiated as s3 and is given the values as ghi456. So this is what is printed in the first statement. Now next s2.p and s2.s1.name, s2.s1.id is printed. Now from this structure, S2 is the object of this structure that is staff and S1 is the object of the first structure that is student. Now here, S2 is equal to the values given for the object S2 are ABC, DEF, 123. Now these are the values for the members of this structure. The members are Character asterisk P and struct student S1. The value ABC will be given to P, that is pointer. P will now point to the string ABC. Next, another member is struct student S1. This will represent the structure student which has two more members, that is name and ID. So this value DEF will be given to name. And the next value 123 will be assigned to id. Now to print the values of these members in the printf statement it is given as s2.s1.name that is s2 is the object of staff in which one of the member is s1 which is the object of the structure student. So s2.s1.name will refer to this member. Likewise, s2.s1.id. The same way, s2 is the object of staff, which has the object s1 as one of its member. So s2.s1.id will refer to this member. So that is how we have printed the values. And the output that we got was ghi456. And for the next printf statement, S2.P is ABC and S2.S1.name is DEF and S2.S1.ID is 123.